I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh yeah, I do have the Guns, Drums, and Steel DLC, but sometimes I just like going back to just this old music because I think it's just a little more fitting sometimes. So like whenever whenever I think it's good just to use the music, then I'll in the background like this around this time no, but maybe later on I'll just act reactivate the DLC. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, well, leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe. And also, just tell me if, well, of course, like and subscribe, and and tell me if you guys want to see this as a little mini series. Like, it's going to probably go about five to eight hundred years each. This time it was a little more than five hundred, just because I feel like I really need to get some videos out today, just to make up for school and stuff like that. And I'll give you like a culture view now. As you can see, like, Greek is going back into the consciousness again. But for most of the part, well, we got Japanese, obviously, the Yamato and the Nishi. And then we got all these Iranians also up in the consciousness, like the Sarmatians and the Alans. And then the Das have pretty much migrated from, uh, actually have migrated from over here to over here. Now, I don't know if they can split up into the Visigoths in Austria, because they did... Well, I'll check as just going into right here, and it seems as of no. Now, I'm also going to show you guys' religious view, and yes, guys, like, seriously, Ireland is the only Druidist nation on the whole planet, and you and they can't convert to Chalcedonism because I'll just because I'll give you something right here see um, it doesn't give them an option to now they can hold a meeting of the droids but it's not gonna do much sense if they try to attack England is just gonna swallow them like he normally does and then we'll just become Great Britain by the time that he's allowed to and then West Rome survived, and Rome, like, actually took control as West Rome. So they're still like number one, while Byzantium is like is is fourth, and that's just because it has a very crappy diplomatic rank, while their administrative and military is superior. And then the only South Arabian country left actually is Kinda and Aksum. I'm pretty sure that they've tried to convert multiple times, but then they just had zealots. Because I can, like, check on a... Oh yeah, custom flag. Yeah, now I have a custom flag for, like, every single game that I might be using for the Byzantium series. You'll be able to see that in my net CK2 playthrough. Hint, hint. So, then we got the only Egyptian country, the Blemias. And now look at the dynastic. There, we actually have... A, gr a Greek family ruling Byzantium instead of the Ger instead of a German dynasty, which and the Liane dynasty is controlled by Duos. That's that's great. You, they usually should change dynasties, and then in the Americas, I showed you a little bit of stuff because not my, oh the Maya. I wait what. I didn't even notice the Mayans, like, popping up. But anyways... Oh wait, show you development, and once again, Constantinople's the most developed province, while Rome is second, with 30, which is better than normal. But Constantinople, usually, like, probably at Metz, I'm pretty sure is about 50s, like, the best that they can get. Yeah, Byzantium is very OP, as you can tell. Like, Rome struggled expanding east, and then as soon as they split, Byzantium just went crazy. They went hay they went haywire, and this is like what I like to call the, Byzant the Byzantine Eagle strategy, because if you look at it, it kind of looks like an eagle with like the head and then the two wings and then two legs. The tiny little tail, I guess. Then of course, India 
is um, not very divided, which in Afghanistan is in Pakistan. Well, they only have one Afghanistan. They only have one province that's a natural Af Afghanistan. And Wusan is gonna lose, and the Xianzhu is gonna be absorbed. So, anyways, I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Sorry, just for making this part so long, but bye bye. Have a good day.